No, it was good. Um, combinations out there, we're just trying to mix and mingle and um, you know, we're trying to um, use as much as the pace as we can on the wings and I guess our coach is um, trusting us to use, utilise us on both so if we can fill in there, jump in, so yeah. Weathered the storm of the Aussies, uh, particularly around their half time period, I think hung tough and um, there were a few deep breaths. Um, and yeah, pretty proud of the combined effort really. Oh yeah, um, probably missed my first job of lifting Brody, but um, yeah, I don't know, just it's pretty quick to get on there. Um, yeah, I guess instinctive play, yeah. Dream come true, not um, something I suppose you prepare or th you know think that could happen. Um, oh, you know, since you're a kid, and then it sort of starts coming closer and closer. Um, from like you know thinking it might be a couple of years away or and then up to a couple of weeks away and then you know the day was here so um, it was still like although you probably try mentally prepare still nothing can you know prepare you for um, an occasion like this. Yeah, I thought it was a I thought it was a try because I I just dropped it and it just kicked it. I thought if I picked it up and dropped it again then it would be a knock on but. I don't know, I guess the ref saw something different and that's footy, you know, he's just got to keep going, so, yeah. Uh, I guess, like, you know, if it was um, one of those, like, um, try, like, winning the game, like, moments, then, yeah, I would have been, like, it would have been in my head, but it's still early in the game, you know. It's just one of those ones you just got to get over it, play footy, so, yeah. You know, they always have uh, some breakdown threats there and they probably looked at the South African game last week and saw that they um, disrupted us and... Will Skelton and the like actually did that for a wee bit tonight and um, our nines didn't have the cleanest ball for a lot of that game so um, yeah that's yeah yep yeah. I think um, that was probably the storm that we weathered and in the end we got some good ball and um, able to put some points on the board. Well, to take us back to the second half of the match uh, basically sealed as a try and then I think you told Nick White to show Yeah. What's going through your mind then? Oh, I guess in the heat of the battle, there's um, a few words of probably holding him at the breakdown, but um, yeah, probably cleaned him out a couple of times earlier too, so yeah, it wasn't the first time heard complaining to the referee, so um, just, yeah, I don't know. Not usually like me, I should usually get back to half, halfway and worry about the kickoff. I'm probably a little bit surprised, I was probably more excited than nervous, um, which I think that um, is probably reflects the um, confidence that the players and teammates around me have in me. They gave me plenty of confidence and they were really um, pleased for me um, when I did get named in the squad to play. Um, and then just the support from uh, my friends, family, um, and then I suppose the rest of the country sort of gave me that um, little bit of confidence that I am I'm here for a reason and um, to just go out there and enjoy it and try to play my game. Yeah. Mark, a couple of trophies tonight, you're holding one of them, what do they mean to this team, to win those tonight? Massive, uh, it's massive, um, mostly because, you know, uh, this year we want to set a goal and, you know, I feel like we're achieving it, we're heading the right way, um, trusting our coaches and stuff like that, and we're just slowly ticking them off, so I feel like we're heading in the right direction and we've just got to keep heading that way, so yeah. Now, I've watched the Hucker since I was, you know, well, since I was a kid, so um, probably, you know, <laughs> just about knew the Hucker off by heart before I even came in here because I've seen it so many times, so... Um, to be actually out there when Nagy's leading it is, yeah, pretty light. Like, there's no real feeling like it. Um, and it's sort of, I suppose it just amps you, amps you up, just wants you to get out there, so, yeah. It was massive as well, probably one of the biggest ones I've played in, to be honest, and uh, just shout out to all the Aussies in Melbourne coming through and just showing a lot of support and love for both teams, so it was a massive, um, it was a massive like, switch up to what I'm usually used to at Eden Park, like 50,000. I think it was like 80 something, so it was massive for us. Yeah. There's no real like bigger occasion. We know how much the Bledisloe Cup means to us and the Rugby Championship, so to be a part of one of those games and for it to be my debut as well is yeah, awesome. Oh, 100%. Yeah, I think pretty much every All Black that gets a, gets their debut just wants to you know get another crack. So um, yeah, hopefully um, I do get another one, but at the moment I'm just going to enjoy this this one. Nah, not yet. 
and I've settled that all. Every week's a different challenge and um, challenge for myself and we're all competing for positions here. I guess for myself, I um, can't get complacent, so yeah. Coaches as well, they, they sort of say All Blacks are never satisfied, so I think, um, yeah, we'll always look at areas where we can get better and we know um, there's a big golden trophy at the end of the year that we're working towards, so that's our focus and, yeah, just getting better every game, so... Yeah, not getting too far ahead of ourselves. Thanks, 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 Thanks. 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 Thank you. Uh,